he went down to, uh, he took a canoe and uh, went down to Washington, D.C. to meet Teddy Roosevelt, <laughs> why, to the White House. <laughs> on a river or how? No, on the ocean. He took an ocean. He went down the oh ocean God. and then it's a, and it came up to the Potomac. And, and I forget what his name was, but he was, he was he was the Penobscot tribe. He yeah. was uh, he was a famous chief. Yeah. He was the uh, chief who of the tribe when uh, that uh, Indian, and I can't think of his name either. All I can think of is Sekulowski. It's not. It's something like that. Yeah. Who was the uh, who was the, a pitcher for the Cleveland Indians, and he became the Indian on the Buffalo Nickel. Wow. Yeah. He's a craggy looking guy. He yeah. was a very yes, and he was. Uh, uh, unfortunately, uh, alcohol really took its toll yeah. on him, and he went right down the tubes. So guys from Maine like to travel. They, they travel all <coughs> over the world. They, they, they're oh, born sure, travelers. They oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, we delivered ice to India, yeah. China. Yeah. So what got you out of Maine and <laughs> over to India? How did you, you, went, to, you no. went to England? You went to England first, right? No, no. No? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Went to, uh, I took, I took a, a flight from uh, uh, New York to Amsterdam and that's the beginning of the and trip. And we got, we got, right. a, we got, a, we, yeah. I remember being at Dom Square and saying, "What the fuck are we doing here?" Is, is that a square in Amsterdam? Yeah, Dom, Dom Amsterdam. Square. <laughs> okay. Dom Square. Okay. <laughs> now, what year was that? Uh, that was 1971. Okay. So you were there. Some guys say, "Hey, let's get on a bus and go to India." No, no. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we just. Uh, you could see yourself falling down the uh, the rabbit hole, you know, in uh, in Amsterdam. We decided to go see uh, mm -hmm. go someplace else, and so we just. So what was the next stop after? Uh, Amsterdam? Well, we got bikes, and we and uh, we headed north out of Amsterdam, and it and after we went across the Asterdijk, which is about twenty miles long, mm -hmm. and it was very windy, we sold our bikes. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to keep traveling. You got to sell your stuff as you keep moving. So we started hitchhiking and ended up in uh, went through Germany and then uh, ended up in uh, Greece. Ended up in Crete. What, For, what time of year was this? It was this was in uh, I think July August. Oh, nice. It was July. It was great time. Paradise. And then it's yeah. Then it started to rain, so we had to leave Crete. So we went to uh, went to Rhodes and then went to uh, Turkey and then up to Istanbul. And, and that's uh, the start of the trail. That was the, the start, start of that start was the start of the trail there. Yeah. That was the start. When you got to assemble, what I've always heard is that there were like certain places people would go and oh, sure. they would tell yeah, you where yeah. to go and it was like a whole Yeah, network what was it? Yeah. Everybody. It was uh, it was right near the Blue Mosque. It was uh, I don't know, it was called a pudding shop or something. It was mm -hmm. everybody put up uh, you know, notices, looking for a ride, looking for riders, looking you know. Yeah, this is all before uh, you know, all the travel books and Yes. Yeah. Yes. Much before the travel books. Yeah, and, it was, and all, you, and it you was could, all word of mouth. And you could get you could get mail at American Express and things like that at that time. Yeah. And the borders were open. I mean, this is what I think one of the more astounding things to think about well, now is that you could go through Iran, you could go through Afghanistan, you could go through. Yeah, this. but it wasn't that easy. I mean, I almost okay. got busted in, in Iran coming. Well, so we took a train from. Uh, well, Istanbul. What happened is we were we were in Istanbul for. Uh, oh, maybe three weeks. And uh, we uh, we fell into the opium spell and uh, had to get out. Mm. You know, had to break. Three it. years later, you said, "I <laughs> got to get out of here." <laughs> <laughs> that was three weeks, and we so we got on a train and we went and we and it went up at Ezrum, and uh, then going across from Ezrum, it was right near Mount Area. Okay. You know, and then uh, going into uh, going into Iran. I had this stupid uh, book magazine, uh, Oz. You remember that? It was an English. I do remember Oz. Yeah, it was yeah. like kind of like the Rolling Stone. Yeah, it was like Rolling English. Stone, but it was very avant-garde and things like this. And the and the Iranian guards, man, they came right down on me. Mm -hmm. What is this? You know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but uh, they did give me. They gave me. They. I had a transit visa to get through. I think it was a week, two weeks. So you just wanted to get through. You had the week. Let's get get through the country and get out. Yeah. Go well, the that's, other what, that's what we had to do. You know, yeah. we had to. We had to uh, get. I had to get to Afghanistan. I mean, who wanted to hang around Iran anyway back then? Uh, well, it was rather interesting, there, but the uh, the Shah was in power. Yeah, so it was like Sabah and, uh, and Yes, oh yes, uh, yeah, and uh, the, uh, I mean, there's some great restaurants, food and things like that, but the uh, Shah had this 
Yeah, it, the rich had the had their little playground, their little, you know, like bowling alleys and slot car races and and uh, you yeah, know they they, were, they, there was a lot of money there. That's for oh sure. yeah, and they had you know great uh, stereo systems for sale and things like that, swimming pools and you know and stuff like this. But you know, the the uh, poor people couldn't couldn't get even close to the place. You know, but Sounds because, like we were, Saudi because we were, because we were Americans, now. we yeah. could get yeah, could get in. But you know, they loved Americans. You know. Yeah. Now you really, wherever you went, you fit in with the people that were there. You tried to fit in. Yes, and of course. Know, and you know, you oh, weren't yeah. the American just traveling. No, 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 no. There was the uh, and and because of lack of funds and lack of <laughs> stuff, you know, <laughs> you were one of the poor people. I was one of the poor people, you know, and I had to, uh, and you, you know, when in Rome, there was a Roman still. So you ate their food, hung ate out their with food, them, hung out with their them. Music. Yes, yeah, 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 and uh, you know, <laughs> and traveled mostly by uh, by bus through uh, through. Uh, <coughs> so that was the cheap way to go. It was probably what a couple bucks to go, a thousand miles. Yeah, it probably was something like that. I can't remember what the exact price mm -hmm. was, but it, it probably it was very cheap. And it was, but you uh, just kept going. It's like yeah, we just kept going forward. Did you have a goal to say I want to get? Yeah, to Nepal. I wanted, we wanted we wanted to get to India, you know. Okay. And uh, and uh, Nepal was always on the uh, on the horizon, but India was the big thing. How much of India did you travel around? Didn't. You just found your spot. In well, we, well, no. We we the trouble is that when we when I we came into India, we had to make. Uh, we heard rumblings that there was going to be a war when we were in Afghanistan. Between, between India and Pakistan, okay. and so we had to get across that border, and uh, so we got a, got across the border, and we went into the, and it's a great border crossing. It's right at Lahore, you know, where they do all this. You have you got to see this great movie. Um, what's his name from uh, Michael Palin from uh, from uh, uh, the. Uh, is this is the one where they march up right up. Oh, next right, to right each up to the gate, and, and they turn around. They turn around. And they slam. Like, they slam the gate in their each other's face. <laughs> right, right. It's chest to chest. Yeah. You know, yeah. and they and they have the and their uh, uh, turbans. They're all starched and they're like yeah. And there's know, like an audience they're, they're, watching I mean, and cheering. They're, they're like yeah. roosters. Yeah, it's, I've seen some film clips of that. Yeah, they do. They do. They do the, they do the high high step. Slam. It's straight out of the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. But anyway, so we got across, got across there, we got into to Delhi, and uh, we were heading, uh, well, we wanted to go to Agra, we wanted to see the Taj Mahal, I was, that's what I wanted to see, so, and uh, then the war broke out, and uh, we were Americans, we were on the wrong side of the, <laughs> and side you were at the, the Taj Mahal, you said, when, like, jets flew? Oh, yeah, well, well, yeah, there were was this way, there was one jet and one plane following it, you know, and it was like, Pakistani it was like, jet. it had to be. Because yeah. uh, there, there was another another jet was shooting at it, yeah. you know, and they were, they were shooting rockets and things like this. They were trying know? to reclaim the Taj Mahal since it's a Muslim site. No, 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 no. It was full moon, December seventh, nineteen seventy one. It was full moon night, and the Taj Mahal, the dome radiates the moon, nice. like it would bleed. So it was like a beacon for them. They knew where they were. To buy, and they had to, and they knew where Agra Airport was. Off, you know, so that's what they were after. Who were you traveling with? Did you have uh, a yeah, I, that you traveled with. Yeah, I had this friend uh, who I, we left uh, the states, and we, you know, Bob and I traveled. You know, the whole thing, and then uh, you guys still see each other. <coughs> we do, we do. We're really close friends. Yeah, you know, uh, in fact, yeah, I should see him soon. <laughs> and uh, we had this. The other, the other monkey, was uh, when we were on uh, Crete. We got this. Got a, a letter, I think. Was it Crete or some place where we had American Express? It must have been, a, you know, that this friend of ours was coming. He was going to make it, meet us in Beirut. Well, we never made it to Beirut. We ended we ended up north instead of going south at at uh, Marmaris at, in Turkey. Yeah. You know. And uh, so David didn't know what the hell was going on. He was, you know, there's no way to get in touch with us. And when we were in uh, in Kabul, went into a coffee shop and there was David sitting at the <laughs> table. So, so <laughs> for the days you could just run into people because there were certain spots. There, there were certain spots, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it was like uh, <laughs> so he joined the uh, so it became the we became uh, <laughs> threesome and uh, <laughs> 
Now, some of the stories you've told me in the past, I found like so totally unbelievable that that's why I wanted to get this. <laughs> and you know, show this to people and say, "Is this guy telling the truth?" Yeah. And I, you know, okay. I, I think that we need to, to record this stuff because it is so unbelievable. And it was from a time that will never come back. I mean, the oh, world I know. has changed so much politically and. Uh, yeah, poll people have told me I should put this down on paper too, you know, because it's yeah. really because I mean there are stories that. Uh, yeah. Hey, well, this can be a start. I'm fucking believable. This is this can be the start. Let's use my language. We, we, can, we can edit. <laughs> we can edit that. We go <laughs> <bubbling. laughs> Whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. Uh, one thing I want to get on tape, and then I'm not going to keep you here all day. We'll get you at your home where you can relax more. Um, <clears throat> the story of when you were at the funeral. Prince in Nepal. That's the most The king. Oh, the king, excuse me. It was the king. Yeah. Um, you knew the prince. I knew the prince. I knew Behendra. Yeah. We were in, uh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, in fact, I had seen Behendra the night before his dad died. Because he used to come down to this coffee shop in Kathmandu. How relaxed is that? And, uh, prince yeah, and we, hanging out. And, and uh, he had these two big mastiffs. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, so they, I, don't, they were, I don't know if they were Afghan yeah. mastiffs. I mean, they were. Yeah. Big dogs, you know, the Asian mastiffs are big, crazy, but well just, you know, and um, he used to come down, and because he loved music, he really loved Dylan. He went he went to uh, Harvard mm -hmm. for a year or two, I don't know. And he also went to Oxford, you know, Cambridge, and, you know, you know, you know royalty gets to go every place. Right, like, Deerfield <laughs> Academy or wherever. And right. so, uh, yeah, and I, I, I didn't know Behendra that long. I was, when we got into uh, Nepal, it was probably, uh, well, it was less than a month, wasn't it? But any, anyway, he uh, he would go, to, he would bring hashish from uh, from Mustang. And have you ever heard of Mustang? I have heard of Mustang. I can't say I know that much about it. Is it a separate country? No, it's no? a it's a province in Nepal, but it mm -hmm. is, is verboten for mm. foreigners to go there. It's a it's a king's paradise, basically. You okay. Know? And uh, he used to bring us hash, you know. But he never he didn't smoke. With us, because it was it, illegal. No, 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 it was legal. This was before um, what's his name from uh, who ran the World Bank? Who was his name? Uh, oh God, Toy for Brains. You know them all. Kissinger, uh, you know. yeah, okay, <laughs> you know? one of those. When the Illuminati. Right. You know, uh, he was he was the uh, he was World Bank. But anyway, he uh, I was there when he shut it down. It's when uh, I shut down the hash business. But anyway. That's hard to believe it, because it, it, was, it, 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 it was, was part like, of their culture for so long. It was, well, it is because it's, it was a Hindu monarchy, and it's part of the uh, sacraments is to smoke mm. ganja. Is Nepal all Hindu? Is there other are there other religions there? Ah, uh, majority is Hindu. Mm -hmm. So Bahindra and the king they were Hindu. They were Hindu world. Yes, yes, yes. And he, how uh, did how did the king die? I think it was just a heart attack. Yeah, and he. Uh, uh, and it, it was rather sudden. I remember I woke up in the morning and, they, and all the uh, Nepalese they were all shaving their heads. So he knew something was up. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And uh, I went, went, into, went into Kathmandu and there was Bahendra sitting on a bloody elephant. You know, and that's the last time I, you know, I mean, saw him basically, you know, close, you know. He, because he became the king. He I'm became saying. the king right then, you know, right and, and uh, they had to, and so they had to go and they had to uh, uh, cremate the the dead king. That's the story that I want to hear. Yeah, and so they went to, uh, so we all went out to Pashapati Nut because all the sadhus were, they were gathering, they're getting ready for uh, for Shiva Ratri, which is in February, so I'm not exactly sure what the date of the, of the king's passing. It might have been end of December, it might have been in the beginning of January or something. Might have, but I don't know, you know, but all these sadhus were starting to come in, come to town because it was, uh, they have four festivals a year. Now are sadhus considered saints or what? what is their position? They're holy men, they're holy, holy, holy yeah. 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 Wandering, wandering saints. Wandering, wandering saints. Holy, holy and they're, they follow the, uh, they worship basically Shiva, mm -hmm. you know, I guess some some are Vishnu, but uh, mostly mostly yeah. Shiva, and uh, and Pashapati Nath is one of the one of the four places where uh, Shiva is is uh, uh, 
remains are. You know, I mean, well, you know, supposedly his head is a, I don't know, his head is there. His, you know, his uh, Kailash, Mount Kailash, uh, Varanasi, or Benares. I forget what they Maybe the only three. So you learned a lot about the Hindu religion when you were there. That was, was well, just by just by uh, just by uh, well, you know, yeah. I mean, I was, uh, you know, it was pretty obvious, you know, with all the, uh, uh, you know, all the temples, mm-hmm. you know, and you hear uh, the Buddhists too are around there, you know. I mean, I sp- I live just below uh, Swayambhunath. Now, were the Hindus then? kind of casual about the religion or was it like really strict because uh, it seems like it's gotten really strict lately they're very they're like you know the Christians here are all of a sudden you know all evangelicals or something it's like now they'd be born again I don't think so I don't, I don't remember them were really they more pushing relaxed? Their, more, I don't remember them really pushing their religion they would invite you to uh, mm-hmm. to temple or to uh, to you know uh, festivals or things like that Maybe. you know but uh and there must have been some great food at the house, right? Oh yeah, well yeah, and there was some great stuff. And then there was, uh, you know, guy that they, they uh, uh, who they, they, there was a sect that we went to one that which they sacrifice a goat, you know. But most of them were vegetarian. Yeah, most of them were vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. Now tell me about this funeral pyre because that's that's I think is like one of oh, the greatest images of, of all time. It was it, it was like uh, it was a, it, it was he. Humongous. It was, and it was all sandalwood. It was. I forget what they said the, the cost was. It was like, you know, hundred thousand rupees. Well, there were ten rupees to a dollar. Yeah. Where do you get sandalwood? Does that grow there? Or is that like uh, it's probably I think in India. I think. Yeah. yeah. You know. I mean, you know, sandalwood incense and stuff like that. Sure. It probably does down in the probably down in the uh, Bihar. You know, which is the mm-hmm. lowlands in, in Nepal. You know, and uh, I don't. I don't know. That's, that's a good question, but, uh, but it was it was all sandalwood. And uh, we were with the sadhus, and the and Bahendra didn't come down to the, but his emissary, his, you know, his uh, uh, men in waiting or whatever, you know, his bodyguards came down and they delivered food to all the sadhus, and we were there, so we got the food too. You know, it was all it was just it's rice, and yeah. rice doll, you know, yeah. and then uh, they uh, they choose a sadhu to go to the actual cremation. And uh, they picked this this guy. He was very well respected. And uh, he went, and that was the last time we saw him too. Because he he goes up. He has a uh, the as it was explained to me, the ritual is that the sadhu and the new king sit there over the funeral the funeral pile, and the sadhu reaches into the flames and grabs the belly button of the of the. Uh, of the king, yeah. because it does it doesn't uh, burn. It's a, it's a hard. It's yeah, it's kind it's of gristly. Cri- yeah, you know. So he takes that belly button, and he breaks it up, and puts it into a a, a chillum, mm-hmm. and uh, with hashish, and s- smokes it with the with a new king, and then he has a vision of what his. Uh, what his you know reign is going to be like, you know, his future yeah. is going to be, and I God knows if he knew it, you know, if he, you know, because it turned out, it was a horrible future. It was a horrible, yeah, it was a terrible future. We'll talk about that later. But yeah, but, yeah, but he uh, and, and so he and so then Behendra, after he hears this uh, this story, he then gives this uh, fellow a million dollars. The sadhu and. and Sadhu a million dollars and banishes him from uh, from Nepal forever. So what he does, I mean, he goes down to he goes down to India, down, and yeah. he opens up a school, opens up a uh, Sadhu, an ashram. Sadhu school. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that is just cool. Amazing. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how he knew that he was supposed to reach in and grab the navel and smoke it. Well, they, they, see, as sadhus do that. They reach into they reach into the so other funeral parts. Yeah. They so do, they very so great. They, it's, okay. it's a because the uh, uh, ash of the human body is sacred. It's it's like this. There's this picture in here. Of this we'll, guy. We'll pull some of these pictures. You out know, and a, a guy them, drinking out of a skull. Yeah. You know, and and so it's the whole thing. And they they, they take the uh, they take the life of the you know. Wow. Of the 
of the deceased, of, the, of another another being. Uh -huh. Are they? They have they channel their energy or whatever. You know, it's God. Who knows? Yeah, I, I mean the stories. I mean it's it seems exotic <laughs> to us, but it, it's just part of their religion. It's not exotic right. to them. This right. is what they believe. So. That's what they believe in. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so after Bahindra became king, did you stay friends, or did you say it's never time, saw him time to get out of here? Yeah. Never saw him again. Yeah. No, never saw him again. He was he was because he was just he was just taken away. He was in the palace. He was you know. Yeah, you couldn't touch him. He, he, yeah. No, he doesn't. He, you know, he, he wasn't was, immortal anymore. Yeah. No, he and he wasn't. Uh, uh, you know, and I don't know of him ever coming back to that uh, that coffee shop. You know, for, <laughs> you know, for the king is in the coffee shop. <laughs> the king, he, for, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Yeah. Do you remember the name of the coffee shop? Uh, we can look no. it up. We oh, there were a bunch of them. I, I have. Um, and they drank coffee, not tea. Oh, I have. I have a poster at home. What is it? It's. Uh, it wasn't the log cabin. What was the log cabin? And uh, what was the other one? I have the card from the place and a poster. It says, uh, you know, it's. Uh, <laughs> now, from Nepal, did you get uh, did you get to Tibet at all? I walked across the river. Okay, but that was it. Okay. And then I came when I came back. The soldiers were there for me. <laughs> not police so going, what crazy are you guys what, like what walking your, across the what border? Is your, what is your purpose in life? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I'm lost. I'm looking for <laughs> Portland, Maine. <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, no. Um, what other areas around there did you get to? Um, no. What are the other countries around there? <clears throat> well, see, I was banished from India. I mean, I had to go. When we went back, we had to make it. Uh, the uh, The Red Cross opened the border because of the for war. a day because of the war. Yeah, and I didn't. We didn't have enough money to fly, mm -hmm. so yeah, we had to make that. So we had. I didn't spend as much time in India as I wanted to. Yeah. Now, have you been back since? No. No. Is I'd that like on your back. bucket list? I'd like. I don't know if it's a bucket list. I'd like to go back, but yeah. I mean, you know. But it's it's, it's going to be changed, right? It's uh, it's it's yeah. just a sea Kathmandu. of humanity. Kathmandu is now four million people. Yes, yeah. uh, but see, when it, when I was there, there wasn't plastic, and now everything is plastic. You used to eat off of. Um, they'd give you leaves plates. Or yeah, leaves. Yeah, they they take. They would they would staple. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, with uh, little bamboo skewers, they put a couple of leaves together. You know, and make a bowl and and you know and they have it. You eat and throw it over the side. I know? met a student. Uh, she went to Smith and she was from Kathmandu and I had a couple oh, really? of nice conversations with her and she said, "Yeah, it's a population of four million people." I said, oh, "Wow." I mean, I, I always pictured it as being this you know small city. Yeah. She says, no, it's just. Ballooned into this. It really has. Well, well Mint's metropolis. When I got there, the war, the uh, road had only been in existence for a couple of years. Yeah, maybe four years or something like that. So they, you know, one thing that cracked me up is I'm watching television. You know, that buy a second home someplace, <laughs> and they're showing these people a, ho a house in Kathmandu. It's like yeah. couple, yeah, this couple. It's like yeah, you can buy a nice uh, house, quarter of a million dollars, right. Right. little little place up on the hill. It's like wow. Sure has changed. It sure has changed. Yeah, yeah. I know. I've I've Very gone. I've gone, I've gone. I've gone on Google. You know, and I've seen where you know play a little village I used to live in. There's a goddamn highway that goes through it now. Yeah, yeah all of those countries. I, mean, I, I can imagine. I mean, you just see China. I mean, what's happened there? It's unbelievable. Yeah, yeah I mean, and they have India's, all these. India's yeah. the next to end up like China. Just and, and they have all the uh, bed and breakfasts up to you know towards the Tibetan border. You know, and you just oh god, and. Yeah. But if, unfortunately, I think it's um, there's a lot of um, uh, the young, the youngster, the young kids, you know, of that uh, uh, upper class in Kathmandu. A lot of uh, they have a lot of uh, fast cars. They have a lot of fast motorcycles. They have a lot of fast, mm -hmm. you know, <coughs> and drink and, the, and uh, drugs. And they're just uh, they are just they're belligerent. Yeah. You see, you see it with the Saudi princes. And oh, shit, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's just like yeah they're you entitled. See, yeah, you see, it, you see it in London. You see it in London or in, in L.A. You know, they have they have drag races, you know, or, you know. And they can't get prosecuted because they're, you know. Royalty. Right, and they, and they fly their cars, their Lamborghinis, or their, uh, mm -hmm. you know, Ferraris. <laughs> some, guy, some guy in London, <laughs> soft to suck. Some guy in London, there were, there were all these kind of Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and everything. They're, you mm -hmm. know, 
it lined up, I think it was Kensington or something. And he came in and he parked his car next to it. It was a little Ford. But he had taken and he'd put uh, he put gold wrappers from candies, stuck it all over it to make it look gold, like the, so <laughs> like, you could fit like in. the other cars. <laughs> no, no. How, how long was your uh, overseas visit? It was over. It was over a year. Yeah, that's a good long time to see everything. Yeah. Let it sink yeah. in. Yeah. Culture shock when you came home. Oh Jesus, yeah. Yeah. You yeah. came back I, to I Maine, I or did I you come back to Northampton? I came back to Maine. Yeah. And uh, and uh, Connecticut, you know, it, 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 it was just uh, yeah. I couldn't drive on the highways. It drove me nuts. Was well, the wrong way, right? For one thing. No, no. It was just it was just everybody was going so fast. Mm -hmm. You know, I was used to just uh, you know, you know the roads were the roads were completely different. Of course, you had to do with truck traffic through Iran and things like that, but. Uh, you, t you saw, uh, this was another thing you told me recently that I thought was pretty amazing, a um, caravan. I forget where it was. Oh, Jesus, yeah. Oh, yeah, up in Afghanistan. Yeah, up in Balk, in, in, uh, which is the ancient city of Bactria. The Bactrian camel comes from that. Is that Afghanistan? Afghanistan? Yeah, okay, Afghanistan. It's right outside of Mazari Sharif. Did you spend much time? Yeah, I, I, spent, I went back there. I, I spent a, a week going, and then I spent a week uh, coming back. Yeah. <coughs> up there, it was really gorgeous. Zoroaster is buried there. Okay. And there are only white doves. Wow. You go to Mazari Sharif, which is ten miles away, and there are black and white pigeons. <laughs> you come to you come to this t the town square by Zoroaster's, uh, you know, mausoleum. You know, it's a town center, and there are just white doves. I wonder if we'll ever get to see these countries again, or is this just like a permanent warfare that will never end? You know, oh, you'll see them again. Yeah, I mean, they, they open up. I mean, you know, I mean, uh, Alexander the Great was through there. You know, and, yeah. you know, you can't. It's uh, it'll end sometime. Yeah, I would love to see if we, if, you know, if uh, this gov if our government would stop meddling with. Yeah, they keep us from being able to go over. <coughs> oh, Jesus. Yeah, it used to be an Americans would go to these countries and we'd be welcomed. It's like, hey. Yeah, I, I had to be careful. I couldn't. It was hard to be an American, even traveling then. Yeah. Because, because, of I, I, because, because of Vietnam, because Vietnam, and uh, so I, I used to tell people I was from Canada, yeah. and I don't have a really great, I don't have a main accent. Well, and people used to put the Canadian maple leaf on their back on the backpacks. So that's right. That would, that would protect you. Yeah. You sure would. Yeah. Well, listen, we're going to wrap it up today. Good. Thanks. Um, <laughs> nice introduction. Do some uh, background. Get some of the pictures out of here and just, you know, see where we go.